Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing fan fucking tastic. Please. Good morning. How are you doing? I did not cream my tea, so I'm sitting here with it, right? What the fuck happened? Did my music just end up being muted? Did it? Wait. You can hear me, right? Oh, there it is. Jesus Christ. That's fucking crazy. I had a PC update, so I'm nervous. <laughs> Good morning, Cocky. Thank you, Taco. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Viata. Good morning, Metal. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, good whatever. Good time zone. I forgot to make tea, so I'm doing it right now. Good morning. My nose is a fuck story today, my guys. I puked a, like a ball of mucus this morning. Welcome to it. I also can't find my bowl, so I've got this shitty bowl. I don't know where it is, but I've got this guy. We're set. How the fuck are you? <gasps> Ooh, I went to I went to work out this morning and the trainer guy was like Richard Simmons. Oh my god, fuck yes. Was it do you actually feel like you got a workout though? Cuz Richard Simmons like he did old lady workouts. I feel like he would like sit in a chair and be like, "All right, let's go." Okay. And lift. I love I love teabagging on stream with my giant cock mug. <laughs> It kind of does look like a tea bag of blood, doesn't it? It's very pink. I don't know why the camera picks up so much pink. Probably because there's so much blue and not pink in this room. It probably is compensating or something. I don't know. It always makes me look slightly more pink than normal. Did my music stop again? No. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Dude, that's awesome. It was with a whole group. That's really cool. The only reason I ask is, like, I'm always curious because I feel like some of the some of the like group workouts I've done, they don't feel like I really worked out. But that's awesome. You had a good time. It's so rare that you find a workout instructor you click with like that. I might be a vampire. I mean, I did. Oh, my God. So has anyone finished Stranger Things? Has anyone not str finished Stranger Things? Because I have a question. Look at this fucking mic stand. My God. I have a question about it. But I don't want to spoil it. Can we not today? You just be my friend today, Mike Stan, please. Please be my friend. Be my friend. Thank you. Ugh. I thought the girlfriend was kidding when she told me to stop quoting I'm a believer by the monkeys, but then I saw her face. <laughs> Good morning, Leaf. How are you? <laughs> Haven't seen it. No, no, no. You, I, I, can, I can ask a question without spoiling it. Don't even worry about it. Don't leave. No, you're fine. I can ask questions without spoiling things. Don't worry about have you seen have you seen any of the season? Just curious. I'm not that that's gonna like gauge my spoilerness. I'm loading a bowl in this. This is this bowl. It came with one of the bongs from Hemper. It's like a flower. It's so white though, you can't see it. It's just so fucking shallow and weird. It's hard to smoke out of. It's not my favorite. What is my question? Okay, my question is not a spoiler. I'm gonna do my best. I think I'm pretty good at not spoiling things. Most of the time. Um, did anything or anyone in this season matter because of the way it ended? It feels like it didn't. Did that, did that, was that, was that enough? Or is that still, <gasps> wow, rude. Wait, what was rude? What did I do? Oh no. What up, Greg? How are you? I haven't started it because I don't like finishing shows that I haven't finished their run. I fucking hate cliffhangers. I'm the same. And honestly, I would never watch this show if I were you because it's just never ending cliffhangers with no sense of <laughs> completion or like anything. It annoys the shit out of me. Fuck me. Oh no, are you sick? Do you have COVID? No. No. Fiata has it too. It's the worst. Boo. Tested positive? Fuck no. Oh, do you know how you got it? Are you feeling like super shitty? Do you have any meds or anything? Man, fuck. Okay, Will's bowl cut was cute. I guess that mattered. Right, Nick's like, do you get what I mean? I'm not going to, I don't want to say any plot points because I don't want to spoil the show for anybody. But the way that the last episode went, I was laying there in bed and it was like two in the morning. We I stayed up way too fucking late to watch it. And I looked at Zach and I was like, wait, so since blank and blank, did this season matter? 
And he went, oh, fuck, it kind of didn't. And now I'm just lost. I don't know. <gasps> Is that shit gross? Is it like a, like a pill or something? Kel, I don't know. It's so scary. I think people have given up. So it's not that it's more infectious. It's just as more people are carrying it. I'm finally catching up on Marvel shows. Watched WandaVision yesterday. Oh, my God. Did you watch all of WandaVision, Gluttony? Did you like it? I loved WandaVision. I thought it was really well done. It's only low level flu, chills and aches and chills. That's still so fucking Come shitty out. though. I'm so sorry. <gasps> I'm gay. Bohammer underscore 419 tipped $5. Went to a furry function the other night and got covered in some nice musky animal sauce. I'm saving all the condoms for my scrapbook so I can smell and taste them later. The best part was the clown dick. I can't wait to go to the gay unicorn bar tonight. You will. Oh my God, it's going to be like a scratch and sniff. But the why the clowns? But the scratch and sniff idea is kind of precious. I wonder if you could do like a blind smell test. Yeah. It started really slow. It was same. I agree 100%. It started off slow and I was really confused. And then when um uh the other the the witch chick shows up, I was or revealed herself, I was like, "Oh, bitch. Shit is whack." However, I have a question about that, too. And since you just watched it, Glut, I want to ask you. And this has been out. WandaVision has been out forever. I, I, spoilers. Sorry. You had your. You don't care if you haven't watched it yet. Um, what is her name? That wit. I can't remember her name. The wit. The. She's a super funny actress. I fucking love her. She's the. She's the chick from Step Brothers. Fuck. I can't remember the witch name. Agatha Harkness. Thank you. So. From what I understand about Agatha Harkness, Harkness, I kind of feel like she's unbeatable. I don't understand how runes on an invisible wall were suddenly able to beat her. Because isn't her power like absorbing the power of anyone else around her? And she's kind of like infinite and immortal. Tell me if I'm wrong, because it's been a while since I watched it, but it's weird. Catherine Hahn, thank you. I love her so much. God, she's funny. Good morning, Octoberville. How are you, love? <gasps> just spent the day at the beach in the sea. Oh my gosh, was it wonderful, Lizzie? Did you have beautiful weather? <gasps> Gay bar. Oh my God, stop it. Unicorn. Is it new? Where is this? The unicorn narwhal. Go fuck yourself. This is beautiful. I want to see where it is. I don't think I've been to this one. I haven't been clubbing or like to a bar in Seattle in a very long time. We used to go to Neighbors. I don't even know if that exists anymore. It's on Pike. Nice. If you if you feel adventurous and you want to go look for Neighbors, I don't even know if it's real anymore, but that was Katie's first gay bar. And the one we used to go to all the time. I fucking am so upset with this mic arm today. Why? Why? Oh, that is her power, but she couldn't use her power. The runes basically designate a space where only one witch could use her power. Oh. Oh, my God. That makes a lot more sense. Thank you for that. I was, like, the battle was awesome. It was one of the coolest, like, aven like Avengers, I don't know, Marvel battles ever I've seen. Um, But I was like, how did she, I don't know. It just, it seemed... Like, as someone as powerful as Agatha would have known what was up. <gasps> Ivan Ivanka Trump died. Yeah, Trump's first wife died. I think she was pretty old, to be honest. Clear skies, not too hot. Sea was beautiful. Oh, nice. That's awesome. It's, it's cool that you're locals and you know where to go, because I can't... I was actually... Lizzie, Lizzie said something very poignant. When we were, um, when we were in London, Lizzie, Lizzie lives in an area that's touristy, as lots of us unfortunately do. And we were walking, we were just walking around London, not where she lives. And she made a, I can't remember what happened or what brought this up, Lizzie. If you remember, feel free to interrupt. She, she said something like, it's really interesting when, he, when people are on holiday, it's like no one else matters. They'll just light up cigarettes outside your front door and take pictures of your house with you like naked in the shower. And they don't give a fuck because you're a touristy destination. They kind of like completely forget that humans live in these places like real people live and function there and i'd never thought of that before i always try to be very conscientious when i travel like i don't take pictures of people's homes that shit is fucking weird even if they're beautiful i appreciate them talk about them later but i'd never thought about that before just because i've never li i've never lived in a touristy area i've never had to deal with that before i mean maybe seattle but not i mean it's a huge city it's <laughs> can you call that a touristy area really That's why Wanda kept hitting her to distract. Oh, my God. That makes so much sense. I'm thinking of the battle in my head. And I just remember she was like, 
nailing the walls. And I think, doesn't Agatha think she's missing? Agatha's like flitting back and forth and she thinks Wanda's missing her, but Wanda's actually like etching the runes into the walls, right? Neighbors are still around. Dude, you should just go. Just go and be like, okay, this is where Classy Katie got gay. <laughs> it's, I don't know if it's, it, you see, I mean, it's dirty. It's not a like, well, at least when I went, it was a back alley bar, you know, where people fuck outside the door. It's the best. <laughs> Those are my favorite. You can go and not get molested. Oh my God, nerd ducky. Shall we cheers? I loaded this stupid flower. Look at that flower bowl. It's so weird. It's so hard to burn. Like, oh God, let's cheers. Um, I don't remember what I ground up. I think it's what we ground up yesterday. What was it? Gelinade? Yes, because it fucking stinks like death. It's gelinade. Cheers, everybody. Exactly. Okay, cool. That's what I thought, but. <coughs> she thinks she's weakening because every time Wanda hits her, she absorbs some power. Okay, cool. That's what I thought happened, but they didn't really clarify it. And then afterwards, I went and, you know, watched a bunch of YouTube videos and read about Agatha because I wasn't very familiar with the superhero character. And the more I learned about her, I was like, damn, she's like <coughs> borderline impossible to kill. <coughs> um, I love how they ended that show, though. It was the way they dealt with Agatha and everything was so well done. It is a beauty. I cleaned my bong today. She looks so pretty and shiny. That weed stinks so bad, though. My God. Ooh, I want to go get consensually molested, though. Oh, get it. Well, I mean, I don't get molested because it's a gay bar. You get what I'm saying, right? No one there is interested in what I'm selling. But that was kind of relaxing. And it it's so gay that straight guys won't go there to be sleazy. You know what I mean? Like, there are gay bars that are on the main strip and you're hard-pressed to find a gay person inside. Neighbors is gay. It's very gay. Oh my god, nerd ducky, same though. Honestly, what I do every morning is when I get up, if it's, you know, just a little bit dirty from like one day or whatever, I just hit it with hot water. I literally fill my bong with the hottest water my sink can do and I just leave it there all morning while I shower and do my morning stuff. And the only thing I do different if it's really dirty is I fill it full of hot water and then sprinkle some of the bong cleaner in it. And I just let it soak all morning while I do my morning stuff. It's just become part of my like routine because I'm terrified of fungal pneumonia. You guys know I... I, I I talk about it too much, probably. But if you didn't know, fungal pneumonia is a very serious thing. It can come from bongs, from dirty-ass bong water. Every time you inhale a little, like, this is, this, this clean, I just spotlessly cleaned this bong, just took one hit. Do you see the little crumbles in the water already? I don't know if you can see those. They're, that's green weed that just fell through. It didn't burn. But that's organic material that's now been introduced to an aquatic, oxygen-rich environment. You do the math. Um, the one thing that really clued it in for me is when I was working at Johns Hopkins, I got to work with one of the, like, the number one lung transplant doc, and we had to go to a conference with him, which was pretty cool. And I learned that if you are a current cigarette smoker, you do qualify for new lungs. If you have ever smoked pot in your life and they can prove it, you cannot be on a list for new lungs, no matter what kind of cancer or whatever's wrong with you, simply because fungal pneumonia, fungus, it's not organ specific it might start in your lungs but it's going to go everywhere and they don't want to waste lungs on you think about that and watch your wash your fucking bong <clears throat> nightmares nightmares i've had bacterial pneumonia and that fucking sucked dude fungal is horrible fungal is like i've never had it but i've seen patients with it you never get rid of it ever it's kind of like, you know, glut those, those, you like elderly people that just have a wet cough all the time. Like they, it's usually caused by like congestive heart failure. That's what you sound like. But for the rest of your life, you never, you can't get rid of fungal pneumonia. It's there now. Like you have it. All we try to do is control where it spreads so it doesn't go other places. It's so scary. It's one of the weirdest pneumonias. And it usually only happens in like insanely cold, damp environments. But guess what's an insanely cold, damp environment? Need I say more? Be careful. 
as I'm making tea, I stick the bong under the faucet and I let the hot water run. For stubborn goo, I grab a, qu a q tip or bong brush. I do the exact same. Yep. Sometimes if it's real bad, I'll pour boiling water from the teapot in it. But when you do this, guys, seriously, if you have a bong, this is just a tip for people who have glassware. You want to make sure that your temperature change of the water is gradual. That's super important. So like right now, it's freezing cold. It, I mean, freezing cold. It's cold water. And if I was to hit it with hot water right now, heat up it, all the glass absorbs the heat. So all the glass of this bong will get really, really hot. And then if I was to just toss ice water in it suddenly, the glass will shatter. So if you if you take the auto and I's advice and do the like cook your bong in the morning, when you are clean, you want to go from hot water to lukewarm to cold. Important. Don't smoke broken glass. Fungal. Beautifully. I'm not even kidding you. Fungal. Every four days I fill her with cleaner and let her soak. Yep. I just do it. I go by feel, really. I'm like, if there's like, if I hit it with hot water and nothing's getting cleaned off, I'm like, okay, hey, it's time for cleaner. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what the brand of bong is, honestly. But it does have bees. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's got bees and lo it's a little honeycomb. Um, I had, you know, you know, my big egg bong. It had a very tragic end, unfortunately. And Zach felt so bad. He tried to replace it, but he doesn't do drugs or smoke pot. So he didn't know there were two sizes of egg bongs. And he accidentally bought me the tiny one. It's precious and adorable. And then he felt so bad. The tiny one was ridiculous. He got me another one. <laughs> what a nice person. I did not ask. I, I was like, bro, I break bongs all the time. Like, it's okay. He felt really bad, though. Really, I have one similar to this in green, but I've never seen them bigger. How I wonder how big your beaker is. I love this a little bit bigger, honestly, just a tad. It's honestly, it's it's pretty perfect, especially since all I have is these tiny pointless bowls right now. But just the airspace to cool down the smoke is really nice. I love them. Beaker bongs are my favorite, honestly, of all bong shapes. Just in terms of like usability, carrying it around the house, it's very easy to carry. The one thing that really bothers me about beaker bongs is the angled bowl. Drives me fucking nuts. Because if you've got dry weed, it just tumbles out. you got to pack like mini bowls. And it's just effort. I'm just lazy, really. The moral of the story is I'm lazy. I want to pack the less. <laughs> the tilted bowl, yeah. That is the one thing. Drives me nuts. But other than that, I like a beaker bong. Hell yeah, dude. D Ducky. I promise no one will shame you, but I would love to see it before and after. I love before and afters of bongs getting cleaned. They look so sexy when they sparkle. And it's somehow more impressive. <laughs> Gotta turn this screensaver off. It's so bright. Get out of here. No shit. This one's about 12. Yeah, I was gonna say, if yours is bigger. So, like, there's my forearm. This one's about 12-ish, I would say. So, yours is probably a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah, which probably your be your beaker is probably fatter too then because look how tiny. I mean, if I put any more water in it, I suck water up into my mouth, which kind of sucks. No pun intended. <gasps> Kendra with the monster bong. <laughs> I wish. Ghetto. Oh, my God. How was your night? Did you love Run the Jewels? I pull out my dick and piss on your shoes in public. I need to know. I'm so jealous. <gasps> Ducky. Ghetto almost didn't go. I'm not even shitting you. Ghetto almost didn't. Ghetto was like, yo, guys, um, the openers are this band called Run the Jewels. Should I go? And I almost flipped out. I started reading the lyrics to the songs poetically because I can't play them on my stream because of DMCA. Oh, my God. Yes. I loved it. Yes. You're banged up. That means you did the concert right. Unless you had to, like, actually be a bouncer and deal with assholes in which case i'm so sorry but seriously if i don't come home with my ears ringing partially deaf from a concert i feel like i did it wrong which by the way i went to pearl jam and my ears weren't ringing but part of me thinks that's because it was in a park oh i would kill to see run the jewels someday i'll see them god i, I know most of their songs by heart it's disgusting i love them they're just like really good rappers funny but poignant lyrics Good beat. I don't know, dude. They're just great. I get it, though. I'd be fucking banged up. That's the... I mean... I've never, like... I kind of feel bad for people that stand at the very back with their hands like this and just... I, I want to, like, hold their hand and be like, would you like to unleash with me? There's a mosh pit over there. 
real bad, but I don't, I think everybody enjoys whatever, you enjoy things the way, the way you want to enjoy them. The way I enjoy things does not mean someone else will enjoy it that way. I would never pressure someone like that, you know? Aw, cheers, Kendo. I was just talking about my, I, this dumb little flower bowl I have to use because I don't know what I do with my bowl. I took it out this morning. I don't know. She gone. Cheers, B. It smells so bad. <laughs> it tastes bad. <coughs> it's a good high. I mean, that's kind of a bummer. It's like good weed. It just fucking reeks. Ooh, trying to find other videos of how insane the shit behind me was. Oh, what do you mean? C explain it in words. Tell, don't show. Give me, give me like a poetic sentence about the chaos. I actually have the funniest picture I want to show you guys. I keep meaning to post it on, like, Instagram or something, but I need to, like, zoom in and take a screen. Uh, let me just, I'm just going to show you guys. You'll appreciate this. Hold up. I'm going to put it in my Discord. You'll love it. It's the funniest picture. It's just a picture of Sarah and I at the concert, but there's someone we didn't know was behind us, behind us, and they seem unhappy. <laughs> <coughs> um, hold on. So, so, uh, that one, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna love it, it's good, I laugh every time I look at it, dude, I was about 10 feet from the front of the pit, Zach, De Zach De La Rocha. oh my god, shut up, <gasps> Zach De La Rocha was there, Roca, N stop it, did he get up on, did he sing? Did they play his their song? Oh, oh my God! I forgot Rage Against the Machine was the the main act. I think you told me that. I didn't realize it was last night though. Just kidding. But did he? Did he? Did he do his? But he has a he has a song he does with RTJ. Did they do that together? I'm just curious. They have a song. Oh God! What is it called? Uh, fuck my ass. Um, that's not what it's called. In the moment. Close your eyes. The song is called Close Your Eyes and Count to Fuck. Wait, let me make sure. I'm just going to hear a second of it. You're going to hear a second of it too. Don't clip. I'll kill you. I just got to hear it. I should say, run them jewels fast. Run them, run them jewels fast. Someday. <laughs> it's called fuck. Run them jewels fast. Run them, run them jewels fast. Run them, run them, run them, run them, run them, fuck the slow. Anyways, you can't hear the rest of the song because DMCA will rape my channel dry, unconsensually, and shut down my life. However, great song. Definitely check it out if you get a chance. <gasps> I don't think so. It was all old rage bangers. I mean, dude, they're all amazing songs, but the, he does do that. That's him. He does that song, and the music video for him is really cool, actually. You should check it out, though. They're great. They're just fantastic. Not that I need to tell you. No, it said um, the name of the song was Close Your Eyes and Count to Fuck. Run them jewels fast. Run them, run them jewels fast. <laughs> Surprisingly, DMCA on YouTube has little beefs with RTJ. You think so? They, um, was it the last game Eliza and I played together? Uh, Far Cry? The last Far Cry we played together. Every radio at every single camp you would go, like, you know, shoot up was playing RTJ. And I had to mute it because my streams were getting muted. Like, I had to put it in streamer mode and it just became, like, hunting simulator. It was very boring. And sad. Yep, I can picture the music video too, right? You can see like the dude sitting on the edge of his bed breathing and then the cop in the middle of the road. What is that actor's name? He's so good. Thank you, Glut. That is the video for that song that I just played two seconds of. Please watch it. Listen to it. It's great. Run the Jewels is fantastic. I think Gluttony actually is the person who introduced me to Run the Jewels, if I'm not incorrect. Back when we could listen to music together without having our world shut down because apparently 
Uh, music labels own the sound waves and air. Good morning, Shadowhound. How are you, love? Only two out of 20? No shit. I wonder who owns their music. Like, who? what's their label? Just out of curiosity. I could play music all day if I wanted to, but I'd have to turn off clips. And I'm going to be honest, some of the clips you guys take make me laugh when I'm sad. And I like them, so I don't want to turn them off. Imagine, well, I'm sure some, I mean, no, Cannibal Corpse is fucked with a knife, not fuck my ass. Someone's, got, well, there's fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus, but that song is called The Loophole. <clears throat> there's got to be a fuck my ass song. It's out there. Do you want to put it in my butt? In my butt. I mean, there's that. It's technically the same thing. Theoretically. I want to play Bug Snacks today. I want to restart it, actually, because we haven't played in, like, three weeks because of my vacation. And I think my save file got fucked up somehow. It just keeps giving me an error that there's no cloud save. But I've never played it anywhere else. Like, I don't understand why a cloud save matters, but it won't let me do anything without that. So I'm just going to delete it and start over. I think we barely did anything, to be honest. And I don't remember it. So even if we did, I'd like to start it over anyways. But that's what I want to do today, because the game is fucking funny. And it's controller easy, so I can do this. Which is really good for my back. The music thing's so ridiculous. It's an abuse techni technicality. Imagine a meter maid finding people on the street because their music's being heard. Yeah, it's similar to the country removing rights to me and my female organs because the divinely inspired forefathers constitution doesn't mention my, me. Same, yeah? Hi. Uh, do you need to go outside already? What time is it? It's not... I mean, we could take a break and then start a game. Got a bug. Got a big bug, bud. I got it. Got it. This is my boy trick. It is stupid. I think it's insane. I think about it sometimes when I'm just out in my car. Like, I have a Jeep where you can tear the top and the doors off and everyone can hear my music. Am I doing something illegal? If people next to me hear music coming out of my car, like... Where does it end with owning the air? I don't understand how they get away with it, to be honest. It seems astronomically strange to me. I don't get it. Right, bud? We don't get it. We don't understand. Why is the world like this to us? How's it dough, Bob? Come here. Come say hi. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Oh, you're going to suck on my thumb? All right. It is stupid. It just doesn't make any divinely inspired. Yeah. Ugh. I like watching the insurrection hearings with you guys, but every time one of the politicians starts, like, jerking off to the Constitution, I just want to die. I just don't, I don't want to hear it. It doesn't validate your, your, anything you're going to say anymore at all. If anything, it makes me question. Like, I consider myself somewhat intelligent, and this hurts my brain. Same. Same. Like, I consider myself, I am, theor I am, like, allegedly highly educated. And I do not, my sister's a lawyer and she can't understand it. None, neither of us, and she, what I'm saying is my sister is exponentially smarter than I. Neither of us can wrap our head around how people can get away with owning sound. The only thing I can get, uh, that I can get from it is that the effects of them doing this doesn't affect anyone who has the power to change anything or care. You know? If you are a top streamer pulling in five grand a week, you can pay for music. And if you're me, you bitch, but you don't have a loud voice, you know? He is a best void puppy. Are you the best void puppy? Are you the best void? Are you my void boy? What's that? He's just giving up now. Now he's laid down. I remember when I used to work on the movie in the movie theater and we used to play our music until some fucker complained. And then we got stop it, someone complained. To the Why? And how? It's capitalism run amok and unwillingness to challenge the archaic DMCA laws. It's just it would cost millions to challenge in court. Exactly. And the people with money, it doesn't affect them, so they don't they don't probably even know it's a thing. It, radio, right? Thank you. Or like old movies with soundtracks. Clueless. Um, Kendo, you silly fuck. That just loaded. You. Kendo. 
you lovely ass tit. Thank you for gifting five subs in the channel. All five of you are immune to ads and have some badass fucking emotes right now for an entire month. Thanks to Kendo. Please say thank you. Thank you, Kendo. Bad Brad Gaming, Mazamahong, Ethereal Dragon, Ardok, and L by K. Ellie by K? Did I say your name right? I hope I did. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my stream. Enjoy your emotes and make sure to refresh so you don't have to suffer ads. And thank you for gifting a sub to Nerd Ducky. Nerd Gifted three months of tier one sub to Nerd Ducky. You f Use a sneaky... Sir, whose tail is you digging in with that? It's easily one of the best sound clips I've captured this year. I think I have to let my dog outside. Let's take a early quick break and just like poop my weird void because he's just sitting here staring at me like he's got a piss or something. Do you have to shiza? But that's fine. And then I'll change game category and we'll load up bug snacks. And if you don't know what bug snacks is and you're like, man, usually I take off when Katie plays a game. Please stick around for 15 minutes. You will not regret your life choices. I don't want to say anything because I'll ruin it. It's good. Weird and good. Weird and good. <gasps> Sean, thank you so much for subbing the class. Keep the class alive. Given an anus its wings. Go forth and be consensual in every way because nothing is sexier than pure sober consent. We're playing the acid trip. Yes. If you have LSD... And you were thinking about taking it one day. Today might be your day. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. I played Subnautica Stoned one time and that was a bad idea. Anyways, I'm going to go shit this void over here before he farts on me or whatever. I'll be right the fuck back though. Quick break. Stretch, load a bowl, get a beverage, do what you need to do. I'll go watch this boy lay a log. Come back to the show. What up? I hope you had a good break. Oh my god. There's a. Did you just complete a fucking hype train while I was gone? Oh! <gasps> Why are you like this? <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. You sneaky cunts. Kendo with the biddies. Glut gifted a sub to Mebo. Thank you so much, you silly ass. And Kendo gifted 1,000 biddies. You're a sneaky fuck. Thank you. All of you. Play some fucking bugs now. I am... I hate just talking about this all the time. I'm like on and off insanely nauseous today because of like... The mucus nonsense so if i just get up and run away don't freak out but puking on stream is against tos <laughs> i got a monster because the fizzy bubbles help my tum sometimes we'll see oh my god anime uh t uh tommy tomlinson has a really funny joke about that she's like i wish i would have taken shrooms before i got she did something she got I don't know what she did to her body or got a weird haircut. She got bangs or something. And she's like, I wish I would have taken shrooms and learned to love myself before I did that. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <gasps> Hello, Silverheart. I'm all right. How are you doing, honey? <gasps> Demio. I think I might own Demio. It's one of those games I might have picked up on a fucking sale, of, like, randomly. I also had to take my pigtails out because I think that was making my head hurt and giving me a little bit of the nauseousness. <sighs> Having a great time. Being alive is the worst. Anyways, snacks of the bugs. This mic arm is going to make me just scream in so many ways today. It just does that. Like, these springs will not stretch out for the fucking life of me. I don't have VR. I don't think we can play together. So... Annoying. I hate this mic arm with every bit of my body. Stay. So annoying! It's causing me to have bad posture because it slowly, like, if it would just stay here, I would have perfect posture, but it does that, and then I do this, and then my shoulder hurts. Can I sue this fucking mic arm company for my back? Why? Why do you suck? <laughs> A city as that fucking resub. Hail the dank lord, motherfucker, and thank you for resub the cat class. Keeping class alive, giving you strings. Backs don't suck. My arms suck. I've I've had it for so long, and yet I can't get the springs to stretch out and just have the fucking mic arm not recoil into its original position. 
Why is this my nightmare? Does God hate me? Who's sitting like up the fuck there though? I hate you. Asshole. Mm. <laughs> it's like a fucking joke. <gasps> My mic arm's a nightmare, sales. It's a nice, it's honestly insanely sturdy. It's just these, it's got, sp it's like spring loaded. And they just want to recoil to the tightest, like the tightest spring position possible eternally. I cannot get them for the life of me to just stretch. I mean, I've had this for years. It can go all the way. It can literally lay flat, but watch. Oh, my God. Why? Why? Who needs a mic arm that does that? What's the fucking point of a mic arm that has to stay in its fully recoiled position the whole time you're using it? Why are you using a mic arm? The fuck? Just hold it forever? I'm going to fucking scream. I don't know what to do about it. I don't want to hold it. What do you, what the fuck do you do? <sighs> I have a heat gun, actually. Should I go grab it and try that? Oh my god, you're so smart. Hold on. I have a heat gun. Una moment. Time to cook some shit, bitches. We'll start the game eventually, I swear. I just, I'm gonna kill my back or myself with this mic arm right now. We're gonna show that mic arm who was boss. This bitch, it's been taunting me for years now. And I'm just like, you know, when it was new, I was like, okay, tight springs. And now I'm like, no. Ooh. Crispy, that's really good to know. Crispy said, just a heads up, heat guns have a lot of power to draw. Be careful you don't blow a breaker. I put this on my um UPS. But thank you. That's a really good tip for anybody using these. I didn't know that. Just chilling. Is that really loud for you guys? I can mute the mic. Hear it? Awesome. It's because the mic's directional, which is, I mean, theoretically a good thing if your mic arm works. We're having a great time.
how long do you think I got to cook these? I don't know. I think I cook them and then like hold it down, right? Let them cool off, stretched out, probably. On chat, there we go. So, how y'all doing? <laughs> Thanks for putting up with me and my OCD about things. I really appreciate you. Woo! The springs are fucking hot. I'm gonna get something to like weigh this down because I don't want to stand here and hold it. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do! Uh. Put a fan on the springs to cool them down. I apologize for this, but thank you guys for helping or for helping and for being patient. This will improve quality of life, I think. <laughs> Ooh, I have an idea. I can eat much the idea. And fuck. God damn. Propped up my monitor on the arm. Hi, Barilla. How are you, love? I know. Get my one of my dogs to hold it down. I put my monitor on top of it so that'll hold it until it at least cools down. <sighs> Trials and tribulations, right? How's everyone doing? Good, I hope. I need a haircut. awkward. Cool. Welcome to tech. Is it tech support? I don't know, man. This is more like gerrymandering with Katie. <laughs> uh, it's you need something heavier than a book. It's crazy. Like it's so that arm is so strong that it's lifting my monitor off its stand, off its arm. We're trying, it can't, but it's trying. It's insane, that's what I'm saying. Like those springs were the nightmare of me. They're just so insane. But I truly don't understand why you need a mic arm if, it, if you're never gonna extend it. If it's not meant to be extended, why? You know, like what the fuck? What are you doing? I don't know. I don't have an answer. I don't have a mid-sized cat, I wish. You know what my idea was? <laughs> I 
put a stack of dirt on it. Joey. Did you give him the goat? Hey. Now it's just a bag of dirt holding it down, but let me see. Ten quarts of dirt. I don't know what that weigh is, though. I was just gonna say, like, that's the heaviness of a book you'd need to hold this fucking arm down. If you're... Kendo, I'm honestly, I think that's what's gonna happen. These springs are so hardcore, but I'm hoping. Oh, <gasps> Weaver, no! Wait, you can't get, like, repti soil? Not even online? Boo, I fucking hate that coconut shit. It doesn't hold water worth a sh fuck. Boo. Do you want to see my enclosure I made for my, um, Theraposa? She's not in it yet, so there's no spider, but the enclosure looks really cool. I can show you while I wait for this to cool off. 2.5 pounds. There you go. That's not too bad, actually. I could probably find a two-pound book. My black widow. I'm trying not to show her to you. This is where my bird eater is going to go. Try to make it interesting from all angles because you never know where the fuck the spider is going to go, you know? Oh shit. Okay, so every time I use those coconut blocks, it's like the water just pools in little puddles or just goes to the bottom. Um, I got a <clears throat> so I don't know if you remember a couple it was like a couple months ago, like five of my tarantulas all molted out to be male and I didn't have females for them. So I found people on the ther on the tarantula forums to take them, and I just wanted to give them away, but they insisted on a trade. So I got a Theraposa apophysis or a, a what what's the other pronunciation there's two different pronunciations apophysis the pink footed i'm very excited it we fed her yesterday on stream and they're so feisty and fun and the legs are just hilarious thank you kendo i really like making the enclosures i'm making another one right here this is going to be for my frogs it's huge i don't know how to show it to you guys but it's got a big buddha in the background and one nipples exposed and i love it but i have um five dumpy tree frogs that I raised from tadpoles and they get really big and they're about mid-size right now and they need to upgrade hard so I'm working on this one as well it's the Theraposa I'll, I'll type it in chat for you it's weird it's a weird spelling as are they all that one it's the one uh the common name is the pink footed bird eater pink footed goliath bird eater or whatever it's just the hairy one you know there's the stermy the blondie and the apophysis and the apophysis apparently is the hairiest but i didn't i don't have any apophysis at all i mean i don't have any um theraposa so when they offered me a trade i looked through their lists and found one i didn't have it's pretty cute though very leggy I also have three mystery tarantulas I desperately need to rehouse. I just haven't got the balls to do it yet. They're very fast. <laughs> and by mystery, I mean they live in holes and I have no idea what they are. But it'll be fun to see them. Oh, no. And my Goliath is a baby right now. I don't think I said that. I got a sling. I'll show it to you real quick. Spider warning.
That's a little bit. She's only about three to four months old. She's still an itty bitty. So this is this will last, I think, maybe a year, maybe. Yep, I did see the same pink. I love them so much. It's so depressing when they molt out to be male. That's why I give them away. Because it's like, the moment you see the hooks, you're like, oh, you're just going to die. Like, that's it. They just die. And it's so sad. Like, I've had two that starved themselves, and I'm like, fuck that, dude. I'd rather them at least get eaten. Fuck. Noble Crow, have you heard that Bo Burnham song? It's off the extras, and it's so fucking funny. Everyone's a feminist until there is a spider around. Five years, five years, still you, still me, still here. <gasps> no shit, all female, dude, lucky you. Oh my god, Noble Crow, the song is so fucking good. It's called Five Years. Um, so Bo Burnham came out with a special on Netflix, and then he came out with another hour of content on, on uh, YouTube of just extras he didn't put in. Some of them are so good, i.e. five years. It's It's like a... It's a, a joke of like a Dre song, you know? Or not Dre, uh, what the fuck is that Canadian kid? Drake. Drake song. It's like a pun of a Drake song. But there's a part where he talks about there's a spider in the house and he jumps up on a coffee table and his girlfriend says, kill it. And he says, oh no, fuck that. And she says, come on now, be a man. You're a total anti-sexist, a patriarchy fighter, but your whole worldview collapses the moment there's a spider oh <laughs> five years five years oh <gasps> uh, is he 35 i have no idea i don't like drake's music i didn't like degrassi either oh <gasps> i just got my first curly hair Ooh, what's a gold burst what's the what's the science what's the latin name for gold burst i don't know that one either i don't have a rose either I don't have most of the most common species that everybody has. I have a, I have two pinked foot, like uh, Vicularia, but that's it. He's exactly 35. Oh my God, Kino, you're a psycho. Psychic, I mean, what? Did it change? That was the, um, the curly hairs did too. Did you know that? They're tleal to coddles now. I just, why does it got to be so hard to say? Tleal to coddle. You know how long I practiced that word to say it out loud? A lot. <laughs> I mean, I think they kind of go hand in hand, right? Maybe. Let me check this these coils. I'm going to see how cold they are or hot they are or whatever. I mean, they're cool to the touch. Do I test it and just take the bag off and see if it did anything, or do I wait longer? I don't know. Bracky Pump, I, well, they're, dude, my weirdest one, stop it. Uathlis Parvulus, stop it, I don't have that. I've never even heard of that. That's fun. My weird, the weirdest named spider I think that I have, at least for me personally, is the Brazilian Blue Dwarf Beauties. Dolocotheli diamantinensis. Why? Theraposa stermi. Awesome. Very phonetic. Dolocotheli diamantinensis for one of the smallest tarantulas in existence. Why are you like this, Jesus? The paraphasa. Is it actually a tarantula? Is it a tarantula? I'm going to have to look it up. I've never even heard of it. <gasps> Yoshi. So... My, you know how my, my my mic arm has just been taunting me? It just, like, recoils all day, and I end up punching at it. So someone in chat mentioned that if you hit it with, like, a heat something, you could stretch the coils. And I was like, oh, fuck, I have a heat gun. So I sat here for a while and blasted the coils of my mic arm with a heat gun, and now I have a bag of dirt on it, and I'm waiting for it to cool, hoping the springs stretch out a little bit so my mic arm doesn't recoil constantly. That was a lot of words for a dumb explanation. Oh, are they are they dwarfs? Oh, I love dwarves. That's that's the Dolocotheles. They're dwarf. I mean, obviously, blue dwarf beauties, but they're fun. They're so like, they're my one tarantula. I was talking about them the other day. That um, 
they come to the edge, they come to the opening where I always open the container to feed them. When I move their container, like I take it off the shelf, bring it over here to feed them. They come out of their enclosure and wait at the opening. And then they very delicately just like take it from my tweezers and, and walk away. It's so weird and funny. No, go get your food. I'll talk about, I'll, I'll will literally burn your food for you. Talking about spiders. Go get. <laughs> they're gorgeous, Kendo. The Dolocotheles. Oh yeah, they're beautiful. I just had one molt out, I think to about uh, almost adult colors. God, copper and gem blue, like fucking sapphire. Oh, gem, what's up? <laughs> like sapphire blue for real. They're so pretty. Some of the most boring, like, aka boring colored tarantulas though, in my opinion, are some of the prettiest. You just got to look closer. You know what I mean? Like the blue ones are gorgeous. You can see them from 10 miles away and they shine blue. But I have some brown tarantulas that when you get up close, like the designs, the starburst patterns on their carapace and shit blow you away. They're so pretty. Nana, for instance, my Arizona blonde, my one American tarantula, she's really pretty. But she's arguably, people do not, they don't sell those ever. She's in a Phonopelma Calcodes. You're hard pressed to find one because people think they're boring because they're brown. I don't think you should get into the tarantula hobby if it's only because of the color of the hair of a tarantula, for fuck's sake. How are you, Jem? I'm gonna check the arm now. I think I'm gonna let it bounce and see what happens. Oh, because my knees hurt. Getting old, motherfuckers. <sighs> Dad knows. Hey now. Is it creeping? Should I leave dirt on it all day? <laughs> Did you love them? Oh my god. Isn't it? Do, does anyone else do that? Like when, after you go see someone in concert, you just kind of low key obsess about their music for a while? I think also when I'm going to see someone in concert, I avoid their music. Oh like months before the concert and I went and saw Pearl Jam and now I'm just like grunge lists all day every day it's sick <laughs> but man when, I think it's because when you see him live you're like reminded that he sounds exactly the same live and his voice is still fucking clear as shit it's just as good like you just oh I'm so jealous my sister's seen him a ton my sister loves Pearl Jam this was my first time we got to see Pearl Jam Pixies, and then a whole slew of like um, British kind of 90s grunge bands that were amazing. I'd never heard of them before. The one I can remember off the top of my head was called Cat Power. Amazing. Like, fucking boss. I w it was one of the few festivals I've gone to where I liked all the music. Every stage was just playing really good sounding music the whole time. Even though I wasn't familiar with all of it, which was dope. But Pixies fucking blew my mind. We didn't even know they were going to be there. Because the festival was two days, and we didn't know the lineup for our day until we got there and pixies were the openers for pearl jam and it was fucking orgasmic oh yeah it was one of the like best surprises ever we were just like oh and sarah my little sister she's five years younger than me so give her credit she's literally i just created a monster of music that i'm so proud of but she was like wait why do i know pixies and just to f just to give a preface to the story fight club is our favorite movie ever like that or gladiator sarah and i binge those movies like fucking fools when we were younger and she goes, why do I know Pixies? And I just look at her and I'm like, Sarah, you've met me at a very interesting time in my life. And she was like, what does that mean? So I had to wait for them to play. And then she was like, oh my God. She knew exactly what, what was happening. Oh my God. Isn't the Pearl Jam room amazing? I'm, did you like the Pop Culture Museum? What was the like, What did they have like a theme right now or a, not a theme. What was their installation right now? The, the temporary one. I can't remember what it was last time I went. It's been a very long time since I went to the EMP <laughs> or the whatever they call it now. I'm just mounting dirt on my arm. Give me one sec. I feel like I 
I need to leave it that way unless it just, like, stays stretched out for an extreme amount of time or something? I don't know. Anyways, a mountain mud dirt. Oh, we flipped. I mean, I didn't, I, at first I looked, I looked at my sister and I was like, wait, pixies, like, like, pixies. And that's when she was like, wait, why do I know pixies? And I was like, god damn it. There could be no help. But when they played Where Is My Mind, I swear to fuck, every human in that it place sang the entire song word for word. It was incredible. It was so fucking cool. Yes. It was like the sci-fi and fantasy hall of fame. Oh, <gasps> stop it. Oh my God. Wait, is that the one that has like legit Queen Amidala dresses and stuff from Star Wars? Because I've wanted to see that for ages, but I don't think I've been to that one yet. <gasps> Marilyn, how are you, love? How you doing? I have my mic arm cooling off because we just roasted it to try to stretch out the springs. So I apologize for my bad posture and the lack of game being played yet. We're getting there. This, I think it worked. Because before I put the dirt bag on, it was staying right here by itself, which is the first of ever. I just want it to not... I don't want to go back to our old ways. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> Stop it, Zoe. Oh my god, I would have died. I'm such a Star Wars nerd. And it, like as much as episode one was very not great back in the day um queen amidala dresses or queen right yeah not princess queen amidala dresses blew my fucking mind like they were just a work of art so cool man i wish we had an i wish i had an excuse to wear a ball gown as an adult <gasps> what are we playing oh my gosh we are playing hello miles miles will actually probably very much enjoy the game we're gonna play today it is so weird. I'm going to restart it because we started it before I went to London. And I barely played any. It's called Bug Snacks. Have you ever heard of it? Oh, my God. Cute. Miles, would you like me to shut up? <laughs> I can. I mean, Natalie Portman is a babe. You're right. Did you know that Kira Knightley and, oh, I forgot her name. Um, fudge, 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 fudge. What is her name? In Bridesmaids, she's like the new rich snotty friend that wants to take what's her fuck to Paris. What is that actress? Both of, uh, Kira Knightley and her, they played Padme. I did? Yes. I did it. Dude, I'm serious. This game is so weird. You basically are like, a weird little Muppet and you land on an island and you eat bugs that look like food and then your arms turn into the food. That is the Rose Byrne. Thank you. Is it Byrne? Rose Byrne? 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 Yes, her. I love her. She's hilarious. I don't know why I can't ever remember her name. She's also in like Get Him to the Greek, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, so on and so forth. She's so funny. I love her. But her and Kira Knightley played Padme and I didn't know. I had no idea they were hand handmaids. And I think Kira Knightley was like 12 when she did it or something. <gasps> Weaver, I'm so excited. Yes. Yeah, no rush, dude. The new 988 number goes into effect in the U.S. Yes, and Delicia, Delicia um, Philip DeFranco, I can't, I can't claim credit to this, but Philip DeFranco came up with a really good rhyme, like a tune for it. He said, oh, God, what was it? I don't want to say it wrong. It's like, when you're not feeling great, call 988 or something like that. Fuck, it, it was really good. It is. It's a child-friendly acid trip it's so weird there's dialogue like characters talk and stuff and there's some sort of mystery going on if i remember correctly that you're supposed to solve like there's a missing person we're looking for someone a friend of the muppets but they straight up look like muppets at first it's incredible um and uh yeah we started it and then when i came back i wanted to play it and my i don't know why steam does this sometimes because i've never tried to play this game anywhere else but it uh, it keeps saying there's a problem with a cloud save, and it won't let me load my saved game. I don't know why. I didn't try to play it anywhere but this PC with you guys one day. I have no idea why that's a problem. But it's it's a, it's it's like it strikes me as one of those games that at face value sounds kind of childish, but is not. You know. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Bug snack. We're in. Oh my gosh, yes, Miles, you're my favorite. Changed our game category. Now I just gotta move my screens around. So I can still see my chat, which would be grand. 
I have to take the dirt bag off. I'm nervous. Really, Kel? Have you ever tried to play it anywhere else? Like, that's the thing. I'm like, but if I've never tried to play this game on any other system except once on this computer. Why? But I mean, everything's the cloud now, right? That's like their thing. I don't get it. It was by pounding on the couch and trying to eat a plug. Dude, I'm into this. Yes. Good job. I agree that way as well, to be honest. We have a lot of things in common, Miles. Ooh, my highlights from the Pop Culture Museum. Okay, so the X-Files props from Fox Mulder. Oh my god, they had X-Files stuff there. Stop it. Oh, <gasps> their badges. Epic D&D &D paintings, a full-size T-1000. Oh my god. And the giant concert screen, all the guitars. Dude, are the guitars not amazing? Like, I'm not a diehard um, Nirvana fan. I'll listen to, like, Smells Like Teen Spirit any day, but I'm not gonna... I, I don't have an album of theirs downloaded on Spotify. Let's put it that way. But... There's something about going through that little hall where you see like his guitar, his jacket and stuff, and a lot of his notes. It makes it makes you it makes me step out of that whole like, oh, it's just this deranged story of a horribly depressed man either committing suicide or his crazy wife killing him, whatever, and just being like, This was a person who lived. Like it was just a human experiencing their own thing. Kind of I I like stuff like that. Even though it's sad, it's nice. Oh, history of hip hop would be incredible. They because of Seattle being like so hipstery grunge themed, they don't do a lot of that stuff unfortunately, but it's usually grunge themed, you know, as you do. It was called the EMP. The EMP. It was like the something music uh what did it say? I don't even remember what it stands for. It was the EMP though. I remember when they built it because they posted a picture of like a like a droid camera shot of it, and it's so fucking hideous. Zoe, I don't know if you know, if you've looked at what that building actually looks like from the outside. It looks like a pile of garbage in the middle of the city, and it's supposed to be an art installation. The building, the building is built to look like a pile of garbage. It's so ugly. The city was furious. They were like, why did you do that? We like art, but why did you do that? I like it now. It's grown on me, but at the time, it just was so... I don't know. I'd, I'd never seen anything like it. And I was like, why'd you do that? But honestly, it's on the inside that counts. No shit. No pun intended. It really is. <gasps> the Star Trek stuff. Oh, my gosh. See, I've never seen Star Trek, but the Star Wars stuff gives me tinglies and my dinglies. You can do art. Wait, not like that. That's exactly what you have to hold yourself from doing, right? It's like we love self-expression in art, but don't do it like that. And not in my city. It's a you got to step back and do that. And honestly, it is what's on the inside. Like no one's hanging out outside above the EMP. <laughs> that being said, I don't like the space needle. I don't think it's worth it. Like it's it's a cool skyline. There's a fly in my house. I'm going to kill you. Um it's a cool skyline, but it's, it's dumb expensive to go up in and I, sure, I don't know. I thought it, I've only been up in it one time ever. I did it when I was in college and I was like, "Meh." Eh, I could have gone without this. I do remember buying a $15 Lunchable, though, because I was starving. Such an interesting um, subgenre of rock. Medi Met Metoric? Is it Metoric Rise? In the early 90s, absolute domination of the airways for like five years and fucking disappeared, right? I think, honestly, and I'm not hating on Autotune, but I think once Autotune came out, it was like this separation of a band and a person who can now just create anything at forever on their own. I don't know. It's not that that's a bad thing, but something happened where, like, it wasn't cool to be a garage band anymore. I I personally do hate autotune. But I don't know enough about music to say it doesn't have a place in music, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, I don't produce music. And I've heard from a lot of my friends who do produce music, like it's used in a million different ways that aren't. Do you believe in love and the little Lord? You know? Thanks, Cher. I'm still a fan of fan of raw, you know, just music <laughs> played by instruments. 
That being said, my favorite band ever is Nine Inch Nails, which is one person basically doing what people do now, but back in the day with a tape, tape recorder. So I have no opinion here that's valid. <laughs> Meteoric. Meteoric. Thank you. I knew I was pronouncing it wrong. For some reason, my brain was just was not coming up with the right word. Thank you for that. Meteoric, yeah. I hate when... Sometimes I... Do you ever do that? Like, you see a word that you absolutely know, but your brain gets stuck on some dumb pronunciation of it. You're like, that's not real. Yo, give me the view from the Seattle Public Library 10th floor. Same. Um, I'd go to the library because it's free and there's books. And in the Space Needle, there's none of that. But it is, it's a cool skyline. Honestly, the Space Needle was put in for the fucking World's Fair in 19... 58? When was it? Fuck. When was the World's Fair in Seattle? God damn it. Sixty-two. I was off by a couple years. God damn it. But yeah, it was like a spectacle built for the World Fair, so people would come and be like, "Ooh, the World's Fair!" But also, they put a spaceship on a stick. Although without it, we wouldn't have the Weedle on the needle. So, you give, you win some, you lose some. As someone who did music production in college, a lot of popular artists can't actually sing very well. You can. I mean, Zach and I like to play a game when we watch um, SNL reruns. Like, more recent reruns, you know. Uh, will this artist be able to sing today? Because <laughs> at first I was like, is it SNL? Like, do they just have the worst sound setup in existence? And then someone was a guest that actually could sing without autotune. And I was like, oh. Because I don't automatically assume everyone's untalented in using autotune. I just assume everyone's better than me. They're not. I'm trying to think of the worst, the worst one. Oh my God, it was, uh. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. That guy. Oh my. Oh my. What an unfortunate person to have on a live stage. That one. Thank you, Ducky. With weekend, 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 whatever. Yeah, them. Ashley Simpson, SNL. SNL puts it all on the table. They don't, they, I mean, ever since Ashley Simpson, none of that's ever gone down again. And if you can't sing, SNL will show the world you can't sing. Whew. Not saying I can sing and that I have any room to judge. But damn. I've seen so many episodes of SNL where they have a musical guest. And it's just like we fast forward the musical guest because they are sh embarrassingly bad. Or embarrassingly dissimilar to what their music sounds like that you're hearing on the radio or whatever. <laughs> Things you notice when you're up close in a band. Her band was always getting turned down. No shit. Alana slip sing entirely too much of the Blues Fest. I kind of understand. I mean, she's getting up there, man. I don't know. But that sucks. I love Alanis Morissette's music. That makes me sad. Although I did watch the... She has like a little biopic thing. I think it was on Amazon Prime or something. And she kind of... I think she might be a bitch. I don't know. I mean, more power to her. Just, get, um, just use the guest room bathroom. That's why we got two bathrooms. How come every time I need to use the bathroom, you always need to use the bathroom? That's why we got two bathrooms. And you know... And you know, this song is just, I mean, Bo Burnham's a genius. And everyone's a feminist until there is a spider around. <gasps> what up, Baron? How are you? Me too. I, I mean, Alanis, I, I can, Alanis music never ages. I don't know what it is. Alanis Morissette, I can listen to it any day. I just listened to uh, Meredith Brooks the other day. I'm a bitch. Still a fucking banger. God. Marilyn, I think I was too young to pick up on that, to be honest. I remember listening to her. Like, I loved her, Fiona Apple. I loved all those, like, angsty, heroin chic girls from the 90s. But I I don't remember, like, I just remember waiting to see their music videos on YouTube. <laughs> I don't think I knew anything about them at all. I don't remember. Or maybe I was just too young to really, like, understand or pick up on that shit. Isn't it great? Oh my God, Noble! It's there's the whole thing is fantastic. Um, if you if you haven't seen the stand up on Netflix, it's his new one and it's called Inside. And the whole thing is just about being trapped inside your apartment during COVID and 
kind of wanting to die because you have no more hope in the world, but it's fucking funny. Mm. I've been watching Bill Burnham since he was a YouTuber in his mom's attic, and he is just never, he's just funny. He's funny. Right? It's just, he nails it every fucking time. He ju- I don't know what it is. He's a genius. I think he's highly depressed or something. I get it. I, also, I really, ident- I love his dark sense of humor. And I understand a lot of people, that's hard for people to listen to, I guess. I don't know. Or to be around. But I, it, it makes me feel good because I'm like, oh, I'm not the only one. <laughs> our vocalist had a shit voice and our drummer couldn't keep time. Oh, I'm a bassist too. What up? All I remember is this girl I grew up with who I had a huge crush on who was a year older than me. Loved Tori Amos who didn't. And I tried to listen to her and that was the day I knew I just have to get over my crush. I feel you spiritually. I like some Tori Amos songs. She has a good voice. But I think, you know, as was the the way of back then, people were trying to be a little weirder than normal. I did. Yeah, I really wanted. So I've played a lot of different instruments. I played. I started out with piano and then I did clarinet. And then I was like, I'd really like to know an instrument that sounds good and is portable. And my mom was like, what do you want to know? And I was like, guitar. And she was like, no, guitar players do drugs and have sex. And I was like, bass guitar, thinking she wouldn't know what that is. And she did, but she let me take lessons. Dude, you should post, put it in the Twitter message. I love bass. I think it's, I mean, I have, I have sucked an inordinate, inordinate amount of genitals because that person could play slap bass. I can't, I never understood the recorder. I'm actually not great at wind instruments. I only played fucking clarinet because my mom made me. She didn't want me to play anything else for some reason. She thought it would be quiet. It was not. (gasps) How spider and the Danish word for scout are pronounced the same. I kind of love that. They're kind of similar. Ooh, Baron, I have them turned off while I'm streaming because otherwise they pop on top of chat, but I can open them on my break. I hear bass a lot in music over anything else. I find it easier to pick up on. That's me. 100%. Like, I find it really hard to enjoy a band or music if they don't have a dope bass line. That is the core of a song for me. And then I build off of it, like, whether or not I'm going to like the song. But if there's no bass or just simply a shit bass line, I can't. I, I, I just can't. I can't, like, fall into it. I don't know what it is. I'm very into a nasty, thick, crunchy little fucking bass. Claire, it's just a boring saxophone. No. Um, I would say it's a more complicated, less cool-sounding saxophone. Like, a lot of band instructors will tell you, if you can play clarinet, you can play anything. Because it's, it's not like, you know, this is a note, and then this is a note, and then this is a note. It's like, this is a note, 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 this is a note. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it, it's a reed instrument. And so it's not like, I'm not saying it's easier or harder than any other instrument. I have no idea, but it's not like just blowing into something. You have to very tightly purse your lips and press the reed against the instrument the entire time you're playing and your mouth goes numb from the vibrations. I didn't like it. And it, it, unless you are like a jazz clarinet musician, like the shit you hear in like Tim Burton movies, it doesn't sound good by itself. It sounds horrible. It is not a solo instrument at all. So no matter what you do, when you're practicing at home, your brothers and sisters will try to sabotage you because it sounds bad. Hi, Kills. How are you, love? Weaver, I actually haven't played bass in a while because I recently picked myself up a guitar. I've been trying to teach myself. It's very different. You probably know already know that. <laughs> I got myself a little electric, um, electric acoustic guitar, and I've been fucking with that a little bit. It's rough. I have this problem. Where, like, that joint is not independent unless all my fingers bend. And there's a lot of notes on guitar that solely require that, and then it does that, and then I hit more than one string. And I've had a lot of fury moments with my ring fingers. I don't know why they do this. Floppy. You know, it is an oral fixation trainer because not only all of those lip things have to go on, when you want to put in a new reed, like you buy these little vials of reeds, you have to suck on them and kind of chew on them and loosen them up before you put them in the instrument because you can't just put a dry one in. So 
even when you're not playing your instrument, you're probably chewing on a reed. We're like the toothpick farmers of the band. I have Rocksmith. I, I actually have it. My, my problem is that I use a two PC system and my mic feed goes into the PC that does not play games. And it has to be that way to stream. So I have not fucking figured out a way to get my gaming PC to hear the guitar even if I plug it in. It doesn't pick it up because my sound is purposely wired to only go to the OBS computer. But if you know how to do it, send me instructions because I do have... Actually, I mean, I have the disc for it, but I don't have a DVD drive in my PC. So technically, I don't have it. But I do, but I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck has a DVD drive? <laughs> Gotta suck it off, man. I totally have an oral fixation, though. That's half the reason I smoke pot. Let's take a break real quick because Katie has to pee already. I knew I would. I didn't want to jump into the fucking game. I gotta pee, so I'm gonna leave this dirt on the mic stand. Let this shit just, like, do its thing for a few minutes. And Mama's gonna pee. But I've got Bud Snacks up, and I changed our category, so we are gonna play Bug Snacks. This game is funny and weird. I can't seem to get my guitar to actually read with the computer through the cable. That's mine, too. Like, it just will not. It will not pick it up, but I'm pretty positive it's because I've wired it so that my game PC doesn't pick up audio, because I don't want it to. Like, name any other game that you play on a PC that you have to talk to. Bex! Oh my god, you silly fuck. It's cool, it's just quick break. I just gotta pee. And then we're gonna play a fucking weird game. Have you ever seen Bug Snacks? It's, it's an acid trip. I'm very excited. Very excited. And nervous, but excited. I'm restarting it because we started it before I left for London. I don't remember what happened. All right, BRB. Damn. Pretty fucking stoked about that. It's not creeping. This is a f goddamn black magic miracle. Holy shit. I'm not hunching towards my mic at a strange angle for the first time in a very long time, and it feels quite nice. <gasps> a kidney stone? Oh my god, I've Zaquarion. My brother um, had a kidney stone when we were younger. My brother, Corey. And I've never had one, thank fuck. Sorry, my fan fell over. Um... <laughs> I've never had one, thankfully, but my brother, he used to just, like, live off fast food. And apparently the, f the salt in fast food can build up and give you kidney stones insanely quickly. And after he passed it, he couldn't pee standing up for, like, a year. The pain did something to his nerve endings and his dick. And he was so embarrassed by it, and I didn't know. And I told his friends, and he was so mad at me. I didn't tell his friends. I, like, told someone. But small town, you know. I was just, I was kind of blown away. I think I got it. We got it. We're good. Cheers, motherfucker. I got a clean bong today. And then bug snacks. I changed our category idea. We're good. I just had to get my hair out of my face. I'm at this really awkward hair length where it's like either in my eyes or not. There is no in-between, and it drives me nuts. I'm going to pull it out. Why do all spiders have to be hiding? You know, honestly, I have the best luck getting pictures of my spiders super early. Oh, my God, that's loud. Super early in the morning. I don't know what that's about, but super early in the morning, I always have really good luck getting pictures. It's not in my eyeball. Why? <laughs> Yep, exactly. It's like just too short to get up. Mine's the exact same length, Weaver. It's like I can get all this, but not this. That like mullet back. Yeah, it's so fucking annoying. And I just I just don't want hair in my eyes. Like, that's it. In the wintertime, I wear a hat all day. Oh, yeah, it's too hot right now. I would die. What is in my eyeball? Oh, God. 
There's something. I don't know what it is. Nothing's gonna let me play this game today, I swear to fuck. I think I got it. It was like a dog fuzz. Oh, it's exceedingly dry here. Oh, absolutely. It's the driest place I've ever existed in, in my life. I've ever visited. I've never visited or been anywhere drier in my life. Thank GG to you guys for the idea for cooking it. I'm I'm honestly so impressed it's staying. This has been quite the ordeal for a lot of my streaming careers, leaning towards this thing like this as it creeps away from me all day. See, I don't even need heat mats. Ever. <laughs> it's way too fucking hot. Even with, even with AC, it's so... Like, the walls of my house are 10 degrees hotter than the air in here. It's crazy hot. Cheers, bitches. <laughs> I just got AC. That was way too big of a hit. Fuck. <coughs> I just got AC for the first time in three years. So I feel you. Just got it. It's a new development in my house. But it's always been 100 degrees here. We've just suffered and died instead. <laughs> it's been great. There's definitely something in my fucking eye. Why? I didn't do anything. Why? Why? Draw it long. Um, is that like here? Like collarbone? If I remember correctly. <clears throat> Weaver, I heard you guys are getting hit with a nasty fucking uh heat wave. When I when my sister and I were there a week ago, the last day we were there when we went to the Pearl Jam concert, it was above 90. It was hot and there was no shade at all. Because we went to the festival at like two in the afternoon. So it was just like n noon sun and it was hilarious. People were literally like lined up standing in like um, light post shade, like a stick of shade from a light post or something. It was nasty hot. Yeah, we got the splits. They're amazing. Global warming, right? Pfft. I know. I, the first time I ever went to London, when I came home, I was like, guys, I got a sunburn in London. Don't come at me with that no global warming bullshit. Exactly. And that was the thing. We People were asking us how the heat was. And it was like, it wasn't that bad if we were like in a park or on the water or on the Thames or something because you had wind. But when you're in the city, like London proper, it's that city heat. Like all the heat of people and cars and the sun just bouncing off of buildings. Man, it was hot. We sweated. I mean, there were days where I didn't pee more than once a day because we were so sweaty in London. Like, we were alarmed. Like, Sarah, me, and Lizzie were sitting around giggling about the, the different shades of orange our piss was. And we were drinking a lot of water, by the way. <laughs> like, so much water. So much water. We were guzzling water while we were there. I mean, Sarah and I were buying the water, too. It was... Lizzie would be like, no, I'm fine. And I'm like, okay, if Sarah and I are desperately needing a water... You need a water. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Weaver. Cities cities need trees, 100%. It's amazing how much difference the temperature is when you go from um, the city to just a park. Like, in the city, where there's trees. It's incredible. Um, new game, that's what we want to do. Sorry, wrong screen.